these are very common Aurora picks. This is not looking good for Fnatic on the edge. What's a good thing to pick here for last though for them? Uh, Fovius. Oh no, but it's the Alpha. They have to think, do, are they willing to get the Fovius? Mm. Or uh, do they go utility here? For Roman, just switch Kirk up to the Gatot Gacha. Something that won't be immediately cancelled out by Aurora. The Frigi Glacier, Fry Device. What if they just end up going TIG? Oh no, but they'll be Purifies there. And Big Ticket Ultimate so against uh, lineups that have like a second life, like an Aurora, shouldn't yeah. be. Yeah, you're gonna get punished, right? Ruby. Yeah. That's Ruby Rome. Yeah, this is an answer to the Cho, answer to the... Harith, but Ruby into the Edith uh, doesn't have the most glowing record. That's right. It's maximum disruption here that's being presented by FNOP against Aurora oh. with a very, very good swing pick. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about Ruby and Edith, right? Uh, how they fare? How they fare against each other? Yeah. Whether what position? They're very 50-50 in their record this season. Similar to this game, it's a tough call. 50-50 for me. Uh, for me, game seven. <laughs> you think? You yeah. really think we have a game seven? Yeah. It, I mean, it's not far. Uh, again, toss a coin, maybe throw it over, and we'll see. Leo and Naisu give us game number six here in the Land of Dawn. Defiant to the end, the light refuses to die. One game at a time. No other team has pushed the league's top seed like Welcome this. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Taking them through the ringer. That's what Aurora has done, and it looked like it was almost done business the previous game. Looked like a 4 1. Looked like it at that point, but hey, that's not the case because now we're here in game six, and you got to give it up to Aurora for what they did. They dug down, made it work, and now with this lineup, Leo, I like both of them, and I have to agree with Renmar. At this point, I'd say 50 50 because both of them have their strengths in the early game. And both of them have their strengths as the game scales up. Look at this, too. I mean, even in, in essence, this is Renegade picking up the Cho, which he loves to use. Should be able to get out. Kirk charging up the Unbreakable, but won't find anyone. I'll tell you now, even before that whole skirmish, I'm actually feeling Rora's draft. Especially in that last pick, where it looks like Brusco and Coach Why Not discussed a little too long exactly what the Roamer was going to do. Yeah. So, Coach. There's a Cho over there. There's an Aurora. What do I do? What do, do I, I do? Do I, do I take like No. No, no, J, no, BJ. You got a Ruby. And I think it, it, it's a solid compromise until we see it pay off. So right now, I'm feeling more Aurora, and maybe we do go to game number seven. 30 seconds until the turtle spawns, lower quarter of the map. So far, yeah. is it just me, or is it because of the back and forth nature of this bout so, uh, that, that we've witnessed? But neither team crossing the river too much. Like, neither swarming yeah. the opposing jungler. It's a little more like in check, you know? It's, well, except for that, Edward flickering on in. They want to lock him down. They're going to go for Brusco first. Fight still breaking out. Keeping him. That's the soul sever we've seen before. This time from King Kong. Looking for more after that double. He's going to start up the turtle here. Red J just given the vision. I don't think they can do anything about it. Take the shot from the Queller. Gonna get zoned out from Super Prince, and that's the objective secured for FNOP. Nah, you let King Kong eat. He wants the turtle, he gets the turtle, and Renegade just confirmed the inevitable. Demon Kite now in recovery mode, just going for his own orange, and then for sure what happened there, what elapsed in the first turtle, that fight, will dictate the pace of the next one. So, yeah. Fnatic on it, ahead now for sure. Looking at the gold, a good chunk of it on King Kong. He's now at 600, 700 up. And Brusco, he's just happy to serve. He's just happy to help. The problem with that, too, there's the pull in. Renegade going to flicker in. Way the Dragon right on Mark, right on Brusco. Flickers in, relying on the Eternal Guard to peel for him. And Brusco will live. Going back to it, too, again with King Kong. Hold on, there's the jump. Dear Looking God. for more. Edwards in trouble. King Kong picking up another kill. This is what I was saying. He only had a Fury Hammer, dude. But because the Soul Sam Sever does so much damage, even without items, you get a little extra penetration through. It doesn't matter if you're an Edith. His kit is what makes up for it. And look at that. Demon Kite can't even mirror the invade. 
And already Kirk is wailing away at the energy shield. A thousand gold up. Fanatic Onik. Just the hero itself. Some would argue that the Alpha is the perfect foil to these high damage, bursty heroes. Yeah. But when King Kong gets into a oh, foil no. like this, oh Don't man! Oh, just like that! Look at the damage! That's big damn. You that, can't stop that. That is the, the image of big damn. You look at big damn in the dictionary. It looks like that. Here's more. Looking for more, and Red J feels it too. What's going on here for Aurora? That's Exhibit B. That's big Exhibit damn. B. And the turtle hasn't even spawned, so this definitely sets up Fnatic Onyx for more wins on the map. There are two and a half thousand gold up already. Four minutes in, Demon Kite just built his war axe. Edwards in trouble. AOG. Oh, AOG running the mark. Spear of Alpha to answer again with a soul sever. He's gonna jump in under the turret. Kirk finally goes down. They're gonna battle now. They lock down. King Kong won't get away from the Hitman. Looking to turn the tide here, Aurora. They take a little bit of poke damage, Brusco and Super Friends here, but they might be able to take this turtle. Huge bounty. Huge bounty on King Kong. And now suddenly Aurora in control. Second turtle Look going over the Northern Lights. Renegade just doing work. Keeping him at bay. Might be looking for more oh, no. again with the kick. They go in. Demon Kite. Who's he going to be able to get again? He gets pulled this oh, time no. by Brusco. Could back. be in trouble. The Soul Sever going to be used, and Demon Kite left to the whims, and Renege tries to help out. King Kong's still alive. They lock down Kirk. Kirk looking for more, but they'll disengage. This is now a battle in game six. It's a fight. Aurora may have overstayed their welcome maybe five seconds too long, a few feet too deep into Fnatic Onyx jungle, and what did that get him? Well, to be fair, Demon Kite is closer now to King Kong, what is that, like 600 gold in between? Yeah. It definitely mu was much worse like two minutes ago. He made some big moves, and they had to. Like, that whole thing, the way they responded down at the bottom lane, kind of started them getting back into position. So this is exactly what Aurora needed, because, you know, just a little bit ago, the lead was already ballooning past the 2K mark. Yep, approaching three. And with Doming here, picking up the Starlium Scythe, I'd reckon Renegade might want to start picking off random heroes hanging out up top and serving up a kill to Domek so that they can make some leeway there. King Kong coming out of the bush. I'm not so sure if Fnatic Onyx knows that there's four members of FNOP on the upper quarter of the map. They make a concealed play. Is this wise to try and kill Kirk? He's a chunky boy. They might try to trade around here. Kirk. Just going to AOG on out. The turret, though, is going to be taken. Meanwhile, up top, Domeng was forced out of lane, so it's going to be a trade across the map for the tier ones. All right. Bottom goes over to Fnatic. Top lane to Aurora. And now they set up for the final turtle. Upper quarter. Bruce Green King Kong holding this bush. Renegade slowed down. I think Renegade has to start protecting himself yeah. and keeping that kick for when it actually matters. I think he, he played the early portion really well. And now we'll see if he adjusts. He's looking to set up here in the mid lane again for the turtle. Edward goes down. There's the kick right on the mark. King Kong could be in trouble. Into the frigid glacier as well. From you away, Kelra unleashed it on the backside. Looking for the pickoff. Everybody split up though as Kelra finally goes down. The two for three trade. But Rora will win the turtle battle as they secure the last one for the game. What did I say? The next standard is now. And that gives Aurora the final turtle of game number six. Suddenly, Fnatic Onyx lead. Kaput. Nada. Zip. And they're pushing up top. Bottom lane is still in control. Yep. And suddenly, Fnatic Onyx have to check bushes now more often. It's clear that Aurora are in the driver's seat. And I'm not going to say it's all Renegade, but he played a big role. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. He's played a massive role in this. And what you're noticing is he's angling those kicks right on the mark towards UA. A lot of times if he's kicking one, it makes FNOP respond, and then they get set up into a frigid glacier. Like, that is as choreographed as it gets. I mean, look at him right now. He's providing a ton of vision, too. He's fine. Might actually go in for something, not go, not committing to it. But this is what has to be handled here. FNOP has to be able to go ahead and contain what Renegade's trying to set up. He forces out so much for so little. 
It's economically unfair for Fnatic Onyx to respond to Renegade, but that's what he does. That is what the Hitman does best. He did it yesterday against Falcons. He did it the other day against Blacklist International. Yep. Eight and a half minutes in. The Lord is spawning in the upper quarter, and they're making sure oh. that the long lane is good. Get pulled. I'm offended. They're gonna. They're tired of Red and Jay dancing in front of him now. King Kong jumping towards UA, looking to crash him down. They'll take out UA in the exchange. Doming has to pop the Zom in force, but they'll back off after losing a two. Demon Kite still in the mid lane, trying to keep things together. And seemingly. Rene J is the anchor being of Aurora. He goes, Yue goes, and suddenly the, the offensive maneuvers of Aurora are like, all right, we're back in, we're back in the back seat. We're, we're back in the ropes. And because of that sudden response by Fnatic Onyx, they can't control the long lane anymore. The lane is pushed in. Yep. Fnatic has a thousand gold up, and they have to find a way to get Rene J back into that flow. They have to trick Fnatic Onyx into thinking, we can't do this, not without killing Rene J. I think this is where you really, again, have to be able to find the mark if you're Rene J. He's gonna get spotted out of that bush, so won't be able to play from that angle like he did previously on that last turtle. So still, the, the stalemate right now for this Lord Tank. And what makes this such a difficult job for the Hitman is Brusco. I think you keep your eyes on Brusco, and you already know where Rene J has to go. And they can't be in the same spot. If Brusco gets his way and gets a good hook in, that ruins Aurora's entry point. See, look how Brusco's keeping that pixel brush. That's key for Fnatic Onyx to keep this Lord Dance dancing. All he has to do is sit there, too, you know? He's even got that flicker available, so it's a little bit... If he decides to, they want to go for it and go for that pull with the I'm Offended flicker, they can. They can actually set it up, but they don't have to. They don't have to force it. And the only one who can really afford a hook check is Doming, because Doming is a Purify. Yeah. But if you purify that hook, you're missing out on so many other things you need to purify. The AOG, King Kong stun on a charged surge, Super Prince's ult. It's literally a bad idea. So that's why Brusco, single-handedly, is also keeping Fnatic Onyx in the game here, in the Lord Dance. They'll still take the calm approach for it. Gonna go in. Actually, there's the pull into the Eternal Guard. The Spear of Alpha, though, from Demon Kite, will be able to find two. It's a double for him for now. Oh. And King Kong on the defense has to get out. This could be a lore take for Rora now after a great setup. Yue was just too much. He dropped bombs, ice bombs, blizzards on Fnatic Onyx, and that led to a Lord score. Couple of kills too. And I thought it was a good engage. I, I could have sworn Brusco was gonna change the tide of battle. I thought Super Friends was gonna drop a good ult. Yeah. This was, again, a showcase of the patience that Rora has to play around with. Even if it's not Renegade starting those fights and starting them up, if they just respond the correct way with the tools they have, with this lineup against Brusco pulling them, then they can win those fights because it's so devastating. No matter where f not goes with this lineup, if they're bunched up, they get frozen, and then a Spear of Alpha or vice versa, it's really difficult to escape that kind of setup. And so how, does, how do they approach that fight? What's worse for Fnatic Onyx is they actually want to keep fighting. They actually want to keep playing footsies. But the fact that Aurora hide themselves so well makes it difficult for Kirk and Brusco to find a, a, a sure hit. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at uh, Kirk's stacks on the Thunderbelt. Oh, look at the junglers. It's, it's looking lethargic. I'm pretty sure that's at single digits right now. Both junglers just handling up that far lane up top. Lord slowly making its way down the bottom. We're going to have to keep an eye here on King Kong. Which way is he going to go? Is he going to look to actually sandwich off Rora? Lord finally been worked on here by FNOP. Looks like he'll just get the call to go back to base. They defend for now for Fnatic Onyx Philippines after that Lord. Despite this being a small lead at a thousand and a half, I think Aurora and Fnatic Onyx PH knows that that's more than the true story. Aurora are controlling the map and that's allowing them to actually oh, just Jay. make plays like this. Whoa! They're gonna go in, they dive on in. There's the Fritz and Glacier again! Able to find two. Brusco and King Kong out of the picture. Renan Jay holding down the front side, goes in for the kick. 
gets the purify out and again demon kind follows through Rora's looking to cap this one out they still have to wait for the minions but Kelra oh, will survive not enough minions to end the game but oh. Rora do they want to still go? It's all Kelra left alone here. 10 seconds. The minions marching in, and Rora sees game seven That's in it. sight, and they'll take us to it. Game seven's upon us for the grand final. We're going all the way, folks. We're going all the way. It's a new age in MLBB. It's a new